If you're trying to work with Logitech G Hub and it just won't respond or if it's not working or if it's not launching, there are a couple of things that you can try. The first thing that you should try, especially if you're stuck on the weird annoying login animation loop, is to close out Ghub entirely and then restart it. The way you can do this is simply by heading down to your Windows Start menu, right clicking it and then clicking on Task Manager. Once Task Manager opens up, head over to the top bar and search for Ghub. This will show you all of the active Ghub processes that you have at the moment. Select the background process first, right click and then click on end task. And then select the main app, right click and then click on end task again. And this will close out the app entirely. So we'll wait for this to close. And now as you can see, there are no Ghub processes running on the system. At this point, uh, we can go ahead and restart Ghub without any problems. So that should be fine. I'm just going to head over to the start menu type in ghub click on the app and it should show up and load without any problems if that doesn't happen head back to the task manager and as you can see i have the background process running here since i've closed the app it's not running in the foreground we're going to close this background process once again and this time we're going to press windows key plus r to open up the run prompt in here type in percentage sign app data percentage sign and then click on ok now in this folder, if you scroll down, you will see a Ghub folder. Right click and then click on shift, hold down shift and then click the delete button to permanently delete this folder. Once this is taken care of, you can head back, check there are no processes running and then you can go ahead and launch Ghub as usual. So one of the start menu, search for Ghub and it should show up along with all of your connected peripherals. If that isn't working either, what you need to do is actually head over to the Windows App Store. Now this setting or this fix may not work for everyone, but especially if you're stuck in the login loop, this can get it going. So head over to the start menu. I'm going to just launch the Microsoft Store from here. Once the store opens up, I'm going to head over and search for media player. What we're trying to do is that we're trying to download the legacy Windows media player. This one right here. Now, as you can see, this is already installed on my system, which is why I'm seeing an open option instead of install. But uh, as long as you've got this media player installed, you will be able to open Logitech Ghub and make it work correctly because the opening animation that you see when Ghub is starting is uh, uses Windows Media Player to run that animation and show it on your system. And if you don't have that app, you will be uh, eventually stuck on the login screen and that can cause problems. And that's how you can fix Logitech Ghub not working. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website, Canada Technology, follow us on social media and if these videos don't help you out as much or if you want a more personalized solution, do consider getting a membership. That's it for today and we'll see you in the next one.